Hello class. Today we are going to make these tissue paper fishies. Now these two are still wet, but this one is very dry. I'm gonna, it's very easy to make, very fun to make. Um, I call him my Swedish fish because I think I'm gonna paint him red and try to make him look like the Swedish fish candy. So let me show you how easy this is to make. All right, so you're gonna need water. Um, and you're gonna need tissue. So we're gonna start with, to make the fish body, we're gonna do that first. Um, I'm gonna turn these this way because I don't know why I like to make them with the body to the right and the tail to the left, but that's just the way I like to do it. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna say three fit. You could do either two or three, I'm gonna do three. And I'm gonna bunch up the tissue and I'm going to stick it in the water. Get it all wet. And I'm going to squeeze, I don't need all that water, so I'm gonna squeeze out some of the excess water. Put that water out of the way. All right, so now I've got this little wet thing of tissue. And I just wanna make it in whatever shape I want my fish to be. I mean, I could want my fish to be round. Do you see this? It almost looks like a fish mouth right there. It's kind of cool. Um, maybe I want a round fish. What if I want a long fish? I mean, I could kind of make him oval like that and make a long fish. Um, I think I'll make a long fish for this video. So there is my long fish. So I just pile him up because he's not gonna stick like Play-Doh. He's kind of loosey, loosey goosey there. So we're just gonna smoosh, 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 shape him with our fingers. Smoosh, 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 smoosh. Just make him the nicest, bestest oval shape we can make. Pat him down. Make him flat, he'll dry faster if he's flat. If he's too fat, he'll take forever to dry. All right, now the tail, super easy. I'm gonna move his little body over here. My table's a little wet, but that's okay. I'm gonna fold my tissue in half. But that's not enough, I'm trying to get a triangle. So I'm gonna fold it in half again but that's too big so let's fold and that's like three times fold in half but that's rectangle I need a square to make a triangle and I'm gonna fold it in half now I can make a triangle out of a square because a square folded in half is a triangle and there's my fishy tail. Guess what I'm gonna do? Let me bring my squishy fishy. Hi, squishy fishy. Let me bring my water. Let me dip my beautiful square tail in here so he'll stay triangle. And I'm gonna stick the little tail on my fishy. But here is the issue. Let me put my fishy where you can see him a little better. Um, here's my little fishy with his little triangle tail, but they're not gonna stick together. This isn't like Play-Doh where you just put it up against it and it stays. We're gonna have to figure out a way for these two to stay together and dry together. Like this guy, Mr. Swedish Fish. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap fishy in a blanket. All right, so what you wanna do is Make sure that the table is dry around your fishy. Good and dry, because we don't want to get this wet yet. I didn't. I can still use this. I was gonna get another one, but this isn't too bad. We're gonna use this. We're gonna put the blanket right on top of the fish, and we're gonna press. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the water is soaking through. I don't know if you can see when I press, water is kind of um, 
popping up there. So you're gonna press so that the tissue gets wet. Well, we gotta wrap the other side of him. So we're gonna pick him up. We're gonna flip the fish. It's kind of tricky to pick him up because this is just a mushed thing of tissue paper. All right, so we've got him together. See, they're not sticking together, but if we wrap him in a blanket, it will stick together. So I'm gonna wrap so that this tissue is right. I don't wanna do it just straight like that because it's not touching the fish right here. I wanna make sure it touches the fish and I press it so it gets wet. Flip this over. Make sure it touches Mr. Fish. Flip this over. Make sure the water is, you're pressing so the water squishes through. I'm gonna, I don't want this extra piece here, so I'm gonna tuck it in. Just tuck it in like, oh good, that worked out nice. And I'll fold this piece like that. So we're folding everything on the back of the fish. So this is the back of our fish, and I, I feel like it's a little dry there. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bring him closer to the water. I'm gonna take a little bit of water and put it on my fish. All right, so I'm gonna flip him back to the front, and I want his tail to show up, so I'm gonna pinch. Pinch his tail, pinch his tail. Pinchy, pinchy. Pinch and press, pinch and press. And I'm just gonna push and shape, smoosh like I did in the beginning. And I've got some air, that's okay. You can kind of press down and get rid of some of that air. Just pinch. And now you've got a fishy. And we'll let him dry. And next week when you come in, we will paint him. Here we go. I have, so you can see I have a little bit of tissue kind of sticking up. You can take a little bit of water and kind of get that to press down as good as you can. All right, so now here is the thing. He's gotta to go to the drying rack to dry. But we can't write our name on him. He's kind of not that kind of fish. So we're gonna take an index card and write our name on the index card. All right, so let me take Mr. Fishy over here. I'm gonna take the camera. Oops, hang on a second, there we go. And I'm gonna walk over to the drying rack. I'm gonna get a card. I'm gonna write my name on the card. Get a pencil, and I'm keeping a few pencils just kind of on the counter like that. Um, you can write either side of the card is fine. Whatever side works best for you. I'm just gonna write a W. And then I'm gonna put my fishy right on top. And then I'm gonna have a spot in the drying rack. I'll let you know where that spot is. And you're just gonna put your fishy on the drying rack shelf. Voila, have fun guys.